Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It is Thursday the 19th of October. In this video we're going to look at two UK and two US stocks. In the UK we're going to look at HomeServe which is the code HSV. They've had a secondary offering and we'll see how that's going to affect the share price. We'll then move on to One Savings Bank. They've come out with good figures. The code there is OSB. Technically, they're looking good. Then in the States, we'll look at Electronic Arts, uh, where there was a big move yesterday to the downside. We'll see what that uh, has uh, does that have repercussions for future movement. And we'll also look at eBay, um, which has come out with a uh, announcement of an, they're going to re redesign their website. Let's look at those charts. So starting with HomeServe, and this is the weekly. Um, so you can see that uh, we found support at the 20 week moving average in August and the last week of August and bounced up. Um, there is positive momentum with the RSI at uh, 72 and the MACD also showing positive momentum. If anything, marginally, marginally overextended away from the moving average is especially the 20 uh, you can see there that it, we got overextended uh, back in august had the console sorry back in june had the consolidation and it looks like we're slightly overextended again although we're not um, as high on the rsi so and actually so if we do get a consolidation that could be a, a, also a non-confirmation on the rsi so be aware of that on the daily um, you can see that we're right back on the 20 day moving average. This could be like a flag formation. Uh, we are losing momentum. The RSI is in a slight downtrend. And you can see that it's had uh, repeated non confirmations on each of these separate highs that we're getting lower on the RSI. So there is warning signs coming through here. And there's actually a sell signal on the MACD with the short term now below the long term as they both track downwards. And on the four hour picture, again, we're finding uh, support from the moving averages. Uh, the 50 is the key here, 825 spot 05. Uh, with the 20 now down tracking will be a downward influence. So we have to dis determine which of these moving averages is the dominant. And at the moment, it's difficult to see. Uh, there is negative momentum here as well. The RSI in a downtrend and it's at 47.52. And likewise on the daily, the MACD are tracking down. Short term is below the long term. They're mar marginally above zero. Um, I would say slight warning signs on home serve coming through from the daily and the four hour as a conclusion. Moving on to one savings bank. Uh, this is the weekly picture. Uh, you can see that we've broken the uh, the recent uh, uptrend barrier and uh, broken up there. Uh, we found support on the rise in 50. The 20 is now moving up as well. Uh, looking to the future, you'd expect uh, a move higher given the, that moving average movement. And looking at the RSI, that's moved back up to 57.6 and is in an uptrend. Um, the MACD are flatlining, but um, they will move up next week if we have another up week. On the daily, uh, you can see that we've had, we've had a very good week this week. You can also see that all the moving averages are all together. We've got the uh, 50, 220, all within a very tight one pence range. 20 is uh, still below the 250. We're going to get a golden cross um, tomorrow as the 20 moves above those moving averages. I would expect that to be a very positive factor. And um, this uh, share OSB, one savings bank, will move higher. Um, if there's a short term consolidation because we left a slight gap, um, that should uh, that will be very short term and uh, 
we will be approaching the 440 level um, in the next I would say two to three weeks we've got solid momentum coming through from the RSI uh, that's at 65.72 and the MACD as well short term has just moved above the long term and it's just shouting a buy signal as, as that happens on the four hour here slightly overextended from the moving averages um, but we are getting golden crosses 20 has crossed the 50 and is about to cross the 200 today um, slightly overbought on the RSI as well 78.33 and the MACD indicative of this solid upside momentum so maybe a consolidation let these moving averages catch up a bit let the uh, uh, overbought situation unwind but uh, as I said on the daily further upside should be expected um, moving across um, to the US stocks, Electronic Arts, this is the weekly, uh, you can see it's moved down below the support of the 20 week moving average and we've lost momentum. The RSI is cracked right down, presently at 54 uh, but will go lower if we get another down week or steady week next week and the MACD are rolling down. Um, shouting sell to those technical analysts who look at these MACDs as the short term is below the long term and they're both moving downwards on the daily you can see the move we had yesterday um, it's a doji with a small a hammer at the top so actually that's even though it's bearish it left a gap is a slight positive at the end of the day in that it did recover um, so be aware the map there might be some follow-through buying today however we've had a bearish uh, move on the moving averages as the 20s cross through the 50 moving down they will move down quite strongly now and will be severe resistance if anything the gap if it fills up to 116 uh, would be at the moving averages and then you'd expect further downside pressure um, because you can see the RSI is indicative of negative momentum 36.76 at the moment and the MACD are rolling down again and they are below zero on the four hour picture here you can see we've had uh, we've had another bearish uh, indicator come through as the 20s cross the 50 and um, we've broken down below the 200 that did give support back in uh, 25th September didn't give any support yesterday and will start to roll down itself so all negative negative that the volume was so high on the downside and we've got negative momentum RSI 32 spot 34 and the MACD as well um, shouting out a sell as the short term is below the long term and they're below zero okay moving on to the last stock today that's ebay um, it did find support uh, back in august from the 20 day uh, we're, we're consolidating again that's allowing the moving average to catch up which is good uh, there is positive momentum uh, with the rsi at 61.84 and uh, the MACD, although the differentials narrow in the short term, is still above the long term. On the daily, um, you can see we're getting a bit of a pincer formation. The 20 has rolled down. That's now creating resistance. Uh, there is the 50 to give support, 37.1. And I'd expect to move between those two as uh, we decide what, you know, where we're going. Uh, momentum has been lost slightly the RSI in a downtrend presently at 49.79 and the MACD as well um, moving down and will go below zero if, uh, if there's not a further bounce on the four hour here you can see we're about to get a bearish uh, cross on the 20 crossing the 50 um, they will be resistance to any upside uh, perhaps we're starting to create a downtrend let's wait and see um, RSI is in a, is in a downtrend that's at 45.57 
and the MACD have gone below zero so confirming that um, there is negative momentum overall on eBay it's kind of a wait and see uh, slight let's move back to the daily slight signs of concern with that rolling 20 day moving average so that's been ta for traders having a look at two uk and two us stocks i'm sorry that i uh, rattle through them um, like i do on all these stock videos but there's a lot of ground to cover i hope you found the video of interest please remember this is these are my opinions and they're not an investment recommendation if you're not a subscriber to my channel uh, please do subscribe hit that uh, subscribe button uh, which you can see you then get email updates when I come out with other videos I cover FX markets commodity markets stock indices as well as these single stock videos thanks for watching